What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. This is Saturday Tournament round number one, playing the Mega Rayquaza Jolteon deck and Expanded. So, we are going first, and it looks like we're playing against a Trevenant deck, which is not something you want to play against, like all psychic. I mean, maybe not. Oh, we start Hoopa, that's even worse. Oh, no, but we have another Hoopa in our deck that we could potentially get. We have uh, Hoopa, DCE. All right, so we we might be okay here. Um, it might not be a straight Trevenant deck. It might be something else. Oh, okay, I lied. All right, so Ultra Ball discard what to do uh, with this. We'll grab a Hoopa, hopefully. All right, there's Hoopa. We will Scoundering, search for three new EX Pokemon, and let's look at our deck as well. So we're going to have Rayquaza, Rayquaza, and Shaman, but uh, let's grab these three, actually. Um, escape rooms in here, that's good. We have AZ as well, and the flow stone. So we have a lot of outs to draw good cards. So we'll put these two cards in our hand. We'll put down Rayquaza, put a DC in the active, put down Jolteon, and we will shame and set up for three new cards. Now, what we could have played was a Giratina in our deck to help out against Trevenant, but I don't know how dominant Trevenant's going to be, and we're going to have to end. Uh, we have to find a Flowstone or an Escape Rope this turn, or some way to get Hoopa out of the Axe Spot, and we don't find one. Oh, wait, we don't have one yet, uh, but we could draw two more cards. No, three more. So, uh, Skyfield, Rayquaza, Shaman, set up for three new cards. Can we find a Flowstone or an, a an AZ or something? And no, we don't find one. I'm going to put Bench and Execute and have to pass onto our opponent's turn. Alright, so that's not good, um, because now he can he can get a Trevenant out, all he needs is energy, and he can Ascension for a Trevenant, which is not good at all. So DC goes to the active, actually, okay. Um, I wonder if he plays Silent Lab. A lot of Trevenant players should be playing Silent Lab now to counter... Alright, so just going to Ascension this turn. Alright, so going to Ascension, going to get out a Trevenant, alright. So on our turn, what do we find? We find a Skyfield, so I'm going to Light Energy the Urquaza, and I want to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, so there's a, uh, nothing in our hand. Alright, next turn, okay, so next turn we do have a Knockout, we have an Escape Rope, Ultra Ball, Hex, we have a Hex, Escape Rope, this thing, Ultra Ball. So we're good to go. There's a Trevenant Break coming out, which we can knock out next turn, which is fantastic. There's a Psychic going to be active. And you could Tree Slam for a knockout. There's a Love Ball for another Phantom. Okay. All right. So he will probably... He'll probably Silent Fear, knock on an Egg. Oh, yeah. He's actually not going to put down the Phantom. Oh, my goodness. We just won. I don't know why my opponent didn't put down a Phantom. That was a huge misplay. On our turn, we will uh, Hex Maniac. Notice Propagate first. So we're going to Propagate first, put the Egg in our hand. It doesn't really matter. We should have the Knockout regardless. We will Hex Maniac. We will Escape Rope. And he didn't put down the other Phantom. I don't know why. Uh, we'll put down the Axe Spot. We'll Ultra Ball. Discard 1 and 2. To grab a Mega Rayquaza. We will Spirit Leap the Active. Mega Evolve. We can, put, we can take a knockout right now. As you see, we have a DCE Shaman who could have set up for more cards. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And we will Emil Break for 180 damage. Now, if we didn't have Escape Rope, I mean, we would have Shaman. We would have drawn more cards, put the DCE down. Had almost another Mega Cause ready to go. And I think this is still in our favor for sure. Even though he plays Idol Locking cards, let's look at his deck real quick. Can we see his deck? No, we can't. Well, like I said, what you could have done is maybe play Giratina. Giratina shuts down. Trevenant break, making aware of uh, Trevenant's uh, ability doesn't work. The Force Curse, or Curse, curse Force, whatever it's called, it doesn't work anymore because it makes where a break's abilities do not work. So Trevenant's ability does not work anymore. I don't know if it's really needed. Like I said, you can cut the egg for a Giratina if you want to, but then that's another Pokemon. You have to maybe manual treat later on. But like I said, I think we would have been fine even if we put down another Trevenant because um, we could have just held onto the DCE. Like, we could have just held... Like, I think the better play would have been hold onto the DCE. So if we chose a Lysen or Hoopa, we have one in our hand. Uh, really, all you need is one Mega Quaza and usually win the game. Especially nowadays, you see Trevenant decks play... They play Rescue Scarf instead of Bursting Bloom. 
So you don't have to worry about burst balloon damage anymore. The extra 60, you just worry about trying to be returned back into your hand. Like, whatever, I don't care. I don't care about your, your trying to return it back into your hand. I'm still knocking you out every turn. Uh, but there you go. There's round number one. It took us three turns to get powered up, but that was under Eidolog. Uh, I think we, we would have had a forever go, but unfortunately, we did not get there that quick. But guys, hope you enjoyed this round number one. We do have two more rounds left of the Saturday tournament. Uh, hopefully, the next two are not very short. Uh, my camera is out. There we go. That's that's more beautiful, guys. But hopefully, during round number one, we'll see you around number two here within an hour. Alrighty, guys. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.